Welcome to the metagame with Oni Black Mage. We'll be continuing Amusement Mile this time, mostly setting around the um, Gotham City Police Department. So, as we're underneath it again, we're going to leave the parking area by virtue of the bat line, escaping through the torn down wall that we passed through earlier. We're going to continue uh, circumnavigating around the police department. This time we're going to to be going around the uh, back end and you'll see a small sort of floating area jump on this platform here look up and you'll notice a suspended trophy just go ahead and quick backlog that down now we're going to go up and over so go ahead and uh, backlog up your way to the roof See that spotlight there? That's actually something of some significance, but in order to solve it, what we're going to do is grapple up to this gargoyle, look over to it, and you notice that it's actually the uh, bat sign, or bat signal. Snapshot that, and that's the riddle itself. In front of the police department, around these stairs over here, you're going to notice a small um, locked away office. You can't access the sequencer box from this direction. What you're going to need to do is jump over get to this opposite side of the building and believe it or not the range sequence actually reaches all the way over here. It's quite a far distance away I gotta say. So go ahead and unlock that door remotely. Jump back over. And collect your Riddler trophy. REC open that motorized door, slide under, just as if you were entering the police department the first time, but going down, you probably solve this on your own. To the parking deck, there is a sealed off section that you can blow away and collect an isolated Riddler trophy. Go ahead and REC back the door up. Now at this point, uh, we can't access the innards of the police department traditionally. This is after, you know, display a spoiler alert, Mr. Freeze freezes over the inside, or at least the front entrance, and we're going to have to enter through the back entrance. I thought that was actually clever, the way they handled the Mr. Freeze fight, in that you actually had to take him down in multiple ways. What I didn't like was the fact that it didn't really show him adapting to the different ways that well. Just that little force field thing, it, it felt a little underwhelming. It didn't seem like he was adapting all that much. Anyway, as soon as you enter through the back entrance, underneath these stairs is an office that, you know, inconspicuously holds just a Riddler trophy right there on the side. As you recall from before, you have to close off both these vents with freeze blast grenades, so go ahead and do so again. Keep going straight, and at the very end of the hallway, right before it, you see the uh, intersection, you're going to see a couple of locked cells. Right next to one of them is the box that you can go ahead and decrypt and open up the cells. The cell you want to get to is not the one you unlock. You unlock this one and get into the adjacent cell with the trophy over there by destroying the breakable wall. Go ahead and do so and collect your prize. At this uh, T intersection, go ahead and take it down to the right. What you see is a locked office, and what you see is a uh, sort of circuit box that needs more power. And as you recall, where the power is is all the way at the opposite side where we just came in. Unfortunately, a battering will not travel all the way from here to electricity and back. So what that means is we're going to have to backtrack back to these stairs and simply make the trip one way. So go ahead and just fire off remote battering. Be careful to not hit the floor as you sweep under. Remember to control the speed with the, the triggers. You can speed up to slow down. 
Make sure to slow down and take a wide berth around this corner. Aim carefully, you got plenty of runway to do so, and charge up that box. Opens the door. And now you have another Riddler trophy. As soon as you exit, look up, you're going to see a gap that you can go ahead and climb up into on the roof. You're going to see a couple of pressure plates. The trick to these and unlocking the adjacent Riddler globe is you have to get to all three without touching anything else. The easy way is to use the bat line, but more precisely, slow down the bat line so you can land on them easier. Remember that you can re-bat line yourself in midair. And on this last one, I found it simple to just slow down before hitting the last pressure plate and collecting the Riddler trophy. These four are it for the inside of the police department. You could actually probably collect these on your first run through or even second visit to the police department. But that's it for right now, so we're just going to go ahead and exit and continue on with the rest of Amusement Mile. start looping around the outer fringes of uh, Gotham again. This is on the building opposite. Where you can see where that water tower is. This is also the final location of Azrael over there. Let me talk to him get him away. And go ahead and decrypt this little roof here. This little uh, roof hut. Takes care of that. Remember where we took the snapshot of Zeus throwing the blue thunderbolt? Well, underneath that is a platform that you can glide into that has a breakable wall. So go on to this little balcony here and just crash on through. Mark the location of this next trophy. This one takes a little bit of a, a little bit of effort, and you need to be quick to get this one to work. So it might take more than one try. There are six uh, question marks you're going to have to destroy all at once, or not all at once, but in very quick succession. There are six on the bottom and six on the top, and you can't access all three at any given time. Three of them we know we can get to at once by using the explosive gel. However, to get the top three, which by the way, if you don't detonate them like within a few seconds, I think like three or four seconds in total, then you have to redo the whole puzzle. But go ahead and prime these three with explosive gels, and what you have to do is, I find it's easier to simply sit on top of the grate and quick battering the three separate question marks as fast as you can, and as soon as you hit the third one, go ahead and detonate the three explosive gels. So you're going to see what I'm talking about here. So throw, throw, quickly climb over, throw, and then detonate it. And if you did it fast enough in the just a nick of the time, you'll notice the cage right here on lock, giving you another Riddler trophy. As you can see, they're getting progressively a little bit more aggressive in how fast you have to be in not only solving them, but also resolving them. So execution and timing is uh, getting a little bit more demanding, which is fine. The escalating challenge is welcome. Which is ironic because this next one is actually something of a joke. You see three pressure plates sitting right next to each other, and honestly, there's no puzzle here. Just start on one and just walk across the other two. Done. So don't overthink that one, seriously. here in the corner of Amusement Mile, right next to the Forbidden Zone. You're going to see, and you probably notice this, it's a cluster of mines. And believe it or not, you can detonate only two of them and get through unscathed. I'm actually going to detonate the wrong one here. I should actually be detonating the one over to this one's right. 
but also this one. This one's a correct one to detonate. And you'll see as soon as I climb down. This is on normal difficulty, so me taking a mine to the face isn't that bad. But you can see through the crawl space here that I should have detonated this one that's active right in front of me. And I have no choice but to walk over it. But be careful otherwise around the remaining mines. And go ahead and beeline straight to your little Riddler trophy. And once more we have to take another mine to the face. Reminding us that we probably should have examined that puzzle a little bit closer. Alright. Nothing animated Batman can take. So, the next one is another series of gliding that you have to do in quick succession with pressure plates, just like the last couple. The starting plate is over here on top of this. As you can see, the next one is right down there into the bay. Make sure not to have a shallow dive, otherwise you're going to hit the many platforms. So hit that one dead on, jump, glide, hit the third one, and this one's timed. So make sure you quickly grapple to the correct area and collect the trophy before it's too late. So you can see even with these simple gliding pressure plate puzzles, it's getting a little bit more demanding. Look over to your left and look down beneath the bridge, the suspension bridge that's been lifted up. Go ahead and aim a nice little ice platform underneath. Be careful when gliding down, of course. But look up underneath where the suspension area is and you're going to see a hanging sort of a trophy. Just go ahead and once again back claw that down. You're going to see the radio tower over here, and believe it or not, the riddle here is actually sitting out in the open. Just go ahead and just collect it. Up on its northern side, I believe. Right next to that is another REC puzzle. This one has a single pressure plate which opens and closes a particular gate, as you can see. What you need to do is force this ball through the uh, alternating gates to the green spot over here. Simply start by standing on the plate to release the door in front of it, attract, step off, so that way the second plate can be retracted and then go ahead and attract and collect your trophy before it's too late. Keep going northward and there is another puzzle. This one once again requires strict timing. This plate alternates between red and green. You want to step on it when it's green. The sequence is predictable, so just time it, step on it, and collect your trophy. The really, really big crane that's suspended over the, uh, over the bay there, just go ahead and glide over to it. You're going to notice through detective mode that there's an REC that you can go ahead, or my mistake, it's just a motor that you can uh, go ahead and charge up with your REC and it pulls up a Riddler Trophy. Make sure to back claw it in time. Way over on top of the suspension bridge. Go ahead and glide over. You're going to see up on the top area there's like a bit of hay and a bunch of I believe crows just uh, hanging around. That's actually a riddle riddle. As long as uh, you can, if you look closely, you also see Scarecrow's mask. Scan that, and that's the riddle. And we're going to go ahead and pause here as we're going to soon wrap up the rest of Amusement Mile revolving the uh, Toy Factory and the rest of them in this Bay Area. Not too much left as you can see through the markers, so thanks for watching. Good gaming. This was the metagame, and I'm OBM, out.